Tens of millions of years ago, snakes were as big as horses. Horses were almost as small as snakes. And in a warmer world, it could get that way again. That's the implication of research showing that warmer temperatures generally favor smaller mammals and larger reptiles. You see the size of these animals dancing with the climate. Global warming, a consequence of human-induced climate change, has far-reaching impacts on the Earth's ecosystems. As temperatures rise, scientists are increasingly exploring the potential consequences for biodiversity. And one intriguing question arises. Could global warming bring back Titanoboa, the ancient giant snake that once roamed the Earth during the Paleocene epoch? Titanoboa, the largest snake ever discovered, lived approximately 60 million years ago in what is now known as South America. Fossils of this enormous serpent indicate a length of up to 42 feet, about 13 meters, and a weight exceeding 2,500 pounds. Titanoboa was a dominant predator in its time thriving in a warmer, tropical climate. The discovery of Titanoboa was a groundbreaking moment in paleontology. Fossilized remains of this giant snake were unearthed in the Serajan Formation of La Guajira, Colombia. The fossils were first identified in 2002, and subsequent excavations revealed vertebrae and other skeletal elements that allowed scientists to reconstruct the snake's size and structure. During the Paleocene epoch, the Earth's climate was warmer than it is today. The tropical rainforests of South America, where Titanoboa lived, provided an ideal habitat for a variety of large reptiles. The warm temperatures and abundant vegetation likely contributed to the growth of such massive creatures. Titanoboa was a formidable apex predator. With its large size, it likely preyed on a variety of animals, including fish, reptiles, and even early mammals. The lack of large mammalian predators during this time allowed Titanoboa to dominate its ecosystem. Titanoboa's discovery has provided valuable insights into the ecosystems of the Paleocene Epoch, helping scientists understand the interplay between climate, species evolution, and ecological dynamics. The existence of such gigantic reptiles suggests that the climate of the time was conducive to supporting creatures of such massive size. This information contributes to our understanding of the Earth's climate history. Titanoboa stands as a testament to the incredible diversity and size of prehistoric life. Its discovery has reshaped our understanding of ancient ecosystems and provides a glimpse into a world vastly different from our own. As we marvel at the magnitude of Titanoboa, it serves as a reminder of the dynamic nature of life on Earth throughout its long and storied history. As the Earth's climate warms due to anthropogenic activities, particularly the burning of fossil fuels, the potential for habitat changes becomes a concern. Regions that were once unsuitable for certain species may become more hospitable. In the case of Titanoboa, the warming temperatures could potentially expand the suitable habitats for giant snakes, leading to speculation about the resurrection of these colossal creatures. Snakes, as ectothermic or cold-blooded creatures, rely on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature. 
Warmer climates are generally more favorable for reptilian species, allowing for increased metabolic rates and potentially larger sizes. If global warming continues unabated, it might create conditions conducive to the growth of larger snake species, echoing the evolutionary advantages that favored Titana boa in the past. The reappearance of giant snakes could have profound effects on ecosystems. Titana boa was likely a top predator in its environment, preying on large mammals. The reintroduction of such a predator could influence the behavior and population dynamics of other species, triggering a cascade of ecological effects. While the idea of resurrecting ancient species captivates the imagination, ethical considerations and potential consequences must be carefully weighed. Introducing a species that has been extinct for millions of years into modern ecosystems could disrupt existing balances, leading to unintended and irreversible consequences. Conservation efforts should prioritize the protection of existing biodiversity rather than the resurrection of ancient giants. The notion of Titanoboa's return in the wake of global warming raises intriguing questions about the dynamic interplay between climate change and biodiversity. However, the ethical and ecological implications of such a scenario underscore the importance of addressing the root causes of global warming and implementing effective conservation strategies to safeguard our planet's delicate ecosystems. As we navigate the challenges of a warming world, understanding and mitigating the impacts on biodiversity remain critical for the preservation of Earth's delicate ecological balance. Thank you for joining us on this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Your support means the world to us. And remember, keep looking up at the stars. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Thank you.